are you girls chatting about? Honestly, these two, my smiley girls, they are so naughty. They must be planning something. So I think what I better do is I better separate them. So hold on a minute. Right, I've separated those girls and I'm going to change Matilda Jane into a little dress because we haven't put her in a dress yet. And I do believe, but I could be wrong, you'll have to tell me, Susie Q, I think I sent you this dress and it's navy blue with yellow, red and blue flowers on it. Um, I think I did, I could be wrong, but Matilda Jane wanted to twin up with her sister, Katie Lynn, and say, hi Katie Lynn, I'm hoping this is the dress I sent you, I can't remember now, but I'm hoping it is, and I'm going to change her into that, and into some cream tights, which should be good fun, and some pretty yellow hair bands, hair bows and I think I'd better get her some different shoes I'll try to find her some new shoes I'll do that in a minute but anyway we're going to change her and um, have a chat so come on young lady you can have your doggy you can have spotty there we go let's lay you down you can lay down in the bed there we go <laughs> she's having a lay down in my new baby bib which I absolutely love I'm going to take these shoes off her and have a chat I hope you're all keeping well remembering if you do go out to wash your hands when you get back and um, keep yourself safe thank you for all your lovely comments on my video yesterday and all last week I'm very very grateful and I think um, my friend Sonia asked me, um, I was asking for um, things to talk about in my Sunday discussion this week. And she said, how could we keep each other cheerful, you know, without spending lots of money? Obviously, you can't keep sending happy mail to people. Um, and the answer, Sonia, in it, Sonia is exactly what you're doing you message me you send me pretty flowers you ask how i am and that is the way to keep morale up and that's what we need to do talk to each other that's why i like you commenting so much all of you and um you know chat check on your friends send them a little text if you're on instagram a little message check everybody's okay you know, just general stuff like that. Come on, darling. Up she comes. There she is. There you go, pretty girl. <clears throat> I've got a dry old throat again today. But it's nothing to worry about. It's just one of those things you get when you're old and you're on heart tablets. My husband's the same. He has terrible trouble with dry throat. But, yeah... Let's see if we can get these tights on. This would be good fun, won't it? It's always hard to get tights on babies who've got froggy legs. Isn't it, Matilda Jane? It's a good job you're not wriggling about. I'd never get them on. So, yeah, check on your friends. Make sure your friends are okay. Sending a message is really important at the moment. Keep checking on people. I've been doing that myself on Instagram and a few people have checked on me so thank you so much. There we go. I've been busy looking after Chloe today. There we go Matilda Jane. There we go. Say hi everybody. Hi everybody. She's a big girl isn't she? Try this dress on her. I think this should fit her. This is um, zero to three, I think, or three to six. I can't remember which now. Oh, there we go, darling. Let's get your hair up. Yeah, just get your pigtails out. My men have been out today. 
so it's very quiet on the roads hardly anybody about very eerie out there but they had to go so lots of police about checking on people which is good as long as they don't get too heavy handed which I hear they have in some parts of the country there we go sweetheart just wanted to see her in a dress didn't I darling up you come let's pull them down pull it down for you there you go yeah she's had that lovely knitted outfit on um, and Emma Esther wanted to have the same one on so I, when I took it off of Leslie Carroll I popped it onto Emma Esther so they've been buddying up in their jumpers there we go sweetie yeah it's all very surreal out there they said that um when they went shopping only one person was allowed in the shop and um you know it's kind of everybody has to stand in boxes and keep well away from each other which is brilliant i mean that's what we're all supposed to be doing anyway socially distancing right let me see if i can find her some shoes i'll just pop these I... little navy blue shoes should fit her i use these for my boys and my girls because they're just kind of plain blue shoes she has got the most awkward toes hasn't she Susie awful <laughs> for putting shoes on there we go there's one shoe yeah so but there seems to be plenty in the shop so um, you know that's encouraging it's just people doing what they're told that seems to be hard some people find it hard to you know do what they're supposed what they've been asked to do there we go that looks cute on her i'll just sit her up there we go sweetheart that looks really cute and it fits her nicely there we go Let's see her that looks cute on her and i'm gonna get these out these are some i bought recently some new um hair things Oh, can I get them out of the bag? I thought you'd like to see her again today because I haven't done a lot with her. Oh dear. This is tough. Why do they make plastic bags so tough? There we go. Yeah, these are big yellow flowers on a, an elastic back I thought they'd look really nice I bought a comb in to do her hair today so let's just take those out darling they're not in really tight so it does help with her because she's got real hair There we go, darling. That's better. Let's try, see if we can get the... Oh, what have you got in the front of your hair? A bit of fluff. Yeah, life's a bit surreal at the moment, isn't it? We can't do what we normally do. I'm really missing that. But we did get... Um, our blu-ray of 1917 oh that's pretty it came from america conrad ordered it from there oh look at that isn't that lovely i really like that get that on her that gorgeous really big isn't it <laughs> she looks like a flower girl at a wedding <laughs> it's nice though i like it let's take this one out too darling let's just turn her around a bit there we go 
and see the back of her head for a minute. She's got beautiful hair. I absolutely love auburn hair. I really do. I absolutely love it. And mine used to be kind of a, a deeper auburn than this. This is kind of more ginger. But uh, my hair was like this when I was younger. How it shines with that coconut spray. It's really nice. Her hair has stopped coming out. It, I think it was just, uh, you know, a bit when when I first had her. There we go, darling. We just need three turns, I think. These are quite nice and loose. I don't like things to be too... Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at these on her. I like that. I think that's gorgeous. Do you like that? Look at her. She looks like a, a like she's got pom poms, doesn't she? <laughs> oh dear. I'm thinking about cutting her hair a bit. Cutting that perhaps to there, taking that bit off. I'm not sure. I keep thinking about it because it does look so long, but it's so lovely. I haven't really done anything about it yet. But there we go. She looks lovely with her pom-poms, doesn't she? And the dress looks cute on her. It fits her nice. So I hope that I did send it to you, Susie, so that Katie Lynn can twin up with her. That would be lovely. Look at that. She looks really cute in that, doesn't she? And I thought you'd enjoy seeing her today. So have a good rest of your day everybody and keep safe and well and know I'm thinking about you and keeping you all in my prayers. Do you want Spotty? She said I want Spotty Mum. She's got her Spotty Dog. So thank you so much for stopping by and please comment and like if you've enjoyed my video today with Matilda Jane. Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen.